Hey everyone, it's Colin. So we are getting near the end of things here. Not that close, but it, it is approaching. And once the season is complete, we're planning on recording a postseason wrap up with everyone, uh, just discussing the campaign, our thoughts, etc. And we would love if you, our wonderful listeners, submitted some questions for us to respond to. Um, you can ask about anything, no matter how simple or weird you think it might be. Um, we'll be taking questions on our Tumblr, which is calamitycascade.tumblr.com. Um, and we're also going to be taking emails at calamitycascade at gmail.com. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. If you happen to be hearing this after the wrap up episode has aired, uh, you're still welcome to submit questions, but because of the linear nature of time, they won't likely be featured unless I make some very serious breakthroughs. Uh, anyways, thank you for listening uh, and on to the intro. Agimenta. This is Pierce Sunspire. The project is complete, and a firing solution has been prepared. I don't care how you do it, but you need to get our people out of there. I have upheld my part of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Welcome back to All That You Know. My name is Colin, and I am the Game Master. Joining me today are Brian. Hey, I'm Brian, and I'll be playing Hex the Bureaucrat. Adam. I'm Adam. I'm playing Joseph the Infiltrator. Zach. I'm Zach, and I'm playing Geist the Ace. And Ewan. Hi, I'm Ewan. I am playing Loyal the Empath. So, you've just completed... A very exciting operation where you went to a uh, resort and killed some rich people and made others extremely wealthy and powerful. Um, following your successful operation, you have returned to Bluth's salad warehouse. It is <laughs> barren, except for some old crates of non-perishable salad ingredients. The entire place has a very faint scent of onion, uh, and nothing seems to be able to get rid of that smell. Gopher is chatting with Captain Spud, who is currently wheelchair-bound, regaling him with some old war stories. Uh, the Sparrows and Raptors have constructed a hoop out of some rebar and a modified colander, and are playing an impromptu game of basketball. The Raptors are winning, but it is a close game. Worthy is fiddling with his ship, and you are all waiting to hear back from Bluth. Uh, it'll You probably get like a text from Jenny saying that's going to be a few days before he is recovered and is done maneuvering the council because he got shot and that is uh, unfortunate for him i guess uh so let's get into end of session stuff you don't need to roll for supply you're going to get seven supply straight up from the oh, emergency please. funds Whoa. shit oh yeah writing we that rich. down i'll keep a running total uh thank you, you treasure master 
are not going to get any additional personnel or material because of democracy, because you are outside of the peacekeepers entirely at this point. You are going to gain four rep, but since your rep tracker is full, it is going to disappear into the ether. I don't believe you. any of you furthered your drives. So unless you no. have any, no. <laughs> any <laughs> compl complaints, uh, we, you don't get anything. Um, and now you can all spend one supply to refresh 1d6 quirks. Uh, and remove all level one harm and damage. I have a quick question before we do anything. Yes. How much does it cost for us to increase our tier? Because that will definitely uh, influence how much uh, I'm willing to spend. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, I won't worry about it. In that case, I'm going to skim $4 off the top. Right? Does everybody need to do that? I definitely do. Yes. I have two level one harms and two level one damages. Yeah, I'd like to heal. Cool. I have arm sticky. I don't know what I put yeah. it in, but it's sticky. I'm scorched. Jam? I don't think it actually... I don't think it actually... Yeah, I think it was jammed, and then, like, it got unjammed, but it still, like, sticks. It's not sticky as in, like, you know, covered in syrup. <laughs> oh, I yeah, was saying I he put his arm in jam, and that's why it was sticky. Oh, uh, um, well, isn't English wonderful? <laughs> it's a great language. <laughs> okay. Um, either way, I'm going to roll because I got I got to get my got to have my quirks. Yeah. So oh, you can all remove all level one arm and damage. Uh, I don't think any of you have missing quirks, but if you do, you can roll 1d6 and restore. I do. I'm missing many. three because I was remote piloting the changeling oh, yes. one. And I think some of those were left over. All level yes. one harm and all level one damage. Okay. Bye -bye. Just... God, thank God. That's like I was gonna spend everything on this session, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck off, man. Whatever, it's fine. I'm not mad. You sound, I'm not furious or fucking cold. mad. You, sound... you can have the two we of mine that I didn't get. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. <laughs> Unfortunately <laughs> not. That's fine. I've got all but one of my quirks back, that'll be okay. Awesome. Uh, if everyone is set there, I will continue. Uh, as far as trust goes, you're not going to gain any trust with the peacekeepers, uh, but you have completely flipped your relationship with the corporate council, so I've moved you from a minus one to a plus one with them. Ooh. Yay! Which is Look a substantial that. move. Uh, they love their death squads. They, I mean, yeah, ask Coca-Cola. You need them. <laughs> Been thinking about them lately. Business. <laughs> XP, pilot XP is what we're going to start with. Uh, you get one XP yeah. if you expressed your tragedy, history, or opening. You get another XP if you struggled because of your beliefs, scars, or your vehicle's quirks. Um, and you get another one to two XP for addressing challenges with methods determined by your playbook, which is for the ace, piloting or violence, empath, understanding or poise, infiltrator, Stealth or evasion, and bureaucrat, procedure or management. And I think you basically all get 2 XP for that. Hell I guess yeah. I did pilot and I did regular violence. I don't think I got anything else, though, unfortunately. Because I didn't really express my history, beliefs, opening tragedy, scars, or quirks. I don't think. God, express I think yourself. I'm going to say I expressed my history by beating my fucking dad. Yeah, that's a, and being a big yelled one. At. Sure. <laughs> he was just being firm. Oh my god, Dad, this is so embarrassing. What are you doing here? Get off the planet. I hate you. Squad XP. Face against challenges above your tier. You're going to get 2 XP for a tier 3 target. Uh, reinforcing your squad's reputation. You're going to get 1 XP for reinforcing your subtle reputation, which is like your secondary reputation mm -hmm. we gave you. Um... Drives, goals, inner conflict, instinct of the squad, one XP, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and then successful de battle delivery or rescue operation. I'm just going to give you one XP because I think uh, you should get it. You know, We're uh, one away from another squad upgrade. Cool. GM, I have a question. Oh, yeah. Yes. Does it count as struggling with my beliefs due to me heinously killing a man, but starting the game as trying to be a pacifist is that an xp <laughs> sure <laughs> okay thanks as long as you feel bad about it so bad <laughs> the worst 
It's that easy, folks. We feel bad. <laughs> Just look at American Sniper. <laughs> Just be miserable all Just the time. Just feel bad about it, and <laughs> it'll all work it's out. Okay. Um, We're sorry. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry. Uh, okay, entanglements. I already rolled your entanglement because I'm a, a heinous man. That's good. Uh, but... So, shortly after you arrive back at the Onion Warehouse, a beat-up little car pulls up, and out of it steps a absolutely massive man. A huge, muscular, bulky guy, almost comically. He's, like, bulging out of this, uh, what is he wearing? I didn't write it down. I'm imagining a casual button-up, maybe some slacks, and he's got a very big duffel bag slung over his shoulder, and he's just walking straight towards the warehouse. What do you do? Uh, are we expecting a a guy? Not me. X uh, waves at him and asks, "Hey, who are you?" <laughs> uh, how close do you let him get to the building before you flag him down? Probably like, not well, that he's close. At the fence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could use the projector on my exopod to, like, yell at him from afar. Unusually large man. Fuck off. <laughs> Step aside. State your name and intentions now or back away. Uh, <laughs> he says, uh, My name is Archibald Bellworth. I've been sent over by Dr. Grace uh, for my residency. Your salad residency? I'm a... I'm a relatively skilled surgeon for my level of education. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, this is one of Grace's guys. All right, yeah. Uh, yeah, c- c- come on in. <laughs> uh, you rolled a one on table C, which is new recruit, and you've gained a specialist <laughs> with a tier of one. Yay! With qualities eager and loyal. This is a hashtag doctor. Um, <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hope he's a mechanic, too. God. He's not a mechanic. You go for it. Yeah. Gopher's a fucking crack mechanic. He's the best in the biz now. Is he trained uh, in veterinary medicine? <laughs> mm, like dogs and such? <laughs> Exclusively. And other animals that may or may not be sapient. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. I actually only do dog surgery up until recently. Uh, what what <laughs> type of dog surgery? is Bippo? What is the, the species of Bippo? Not the species. We don't. Like I think type. we decided specifically not to get into it. <laughs> well, yeah, Bippo is like a custom Guys, dog. Like you, you, that's like trying it. to He's put a, a species dog. name on like a unique strain. Like you can't do that. Okay, that's true. Like Bippo is a dog asterisk. Bippo is Skywalker OG. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's the he, he, he's it's, he's British. Bippo. Cool. No, Archibald <laughs> Bellworth. <laughs> Bippo is no, British. You hear it here first, folks. <laughs> This is the hard-hitting journalism the fans want. All right, uh, yeah, come come on in. Uh, we hopefully won't be here for too long. Uh, but uh, make yourself comfortable if you can. Maybe that's a bit of a tall order. I don't know. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm I might have very eager. What, was, were they telling the truth? Like, about, about being a doctor? Part? Um, yeah, well, what he know. said is that he is relatively skilled surgeon for his level of education. Is that true? It is. He believes it to be true. <laughs> <laughs> That's what really matters, technically. Beefcake uh, doctor. It's it's true. He is he he is a only until recently only worked with dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least he's fucking ripped, so if we get attacked, we can order him to bludgeon. Yeah, I think we need to Skype for something else, honestly. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a pacifist. <laughs> wow. This, uh, this is all genetics, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, try, I tried to get smaller, and it just, uh, it just didn't stick. Well, you don't even work out? Like, it just... No. No, I, I try not fuck? to. It, if Hold I work out, second. I get even bigger. How did you try to get smaller? Well, I I just laid around for a while, and I tried to not eat anything and not go outside, and I just kind of missed. This is my, my, my weight. This is my weight. This is what I look like. I see. 
It's a curse. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a curse of being too buff. Uh, okay. <laughs> we, <laughs> I'm, ready to, I'm ready to move on from Archibald. Yes. Yeah, me as well. I'm not. Um, <laughs> uh, Hex, your phone goes off. Jenny is calling you. Isn't Hex traumaed out? <laughs> oh, what, what new trauma did you get? Uh, I don't know if we solved that. We didn't. Traumaed out in the car, right? But, home, but right? you, but you do get untraumaed once you get back. You just like yeah. okay, don't. look different now, I guess, or act mm. different. I think just cold works. Oh yeah, for sure. That definitely, I That's definitely very feeling hex. hex going cold. Um, yeah. Okay, Harold. Uh, Jenny is calling you. All right, uh, Harold picks up. Hello. Hey, Harold. How's it going? Going? Man, you would not believe what just happened to me. Some really crazy stuff just went down. Uh, Blue says I can't talk about it, but like, it was crazy. <laughs> he got shot, bro. No way, Hex <laughs> responds. He's doing paperwork in the background, clearly not paying attention. But... <laughs> You know, he he's still keeping the conversation going on the off chance there's something valuable here. Uh, anyways, uh, we're getting situated here. Uh, just could you like send over a list of everything you need, uh, where you want it staged and stuff, and we can start like preparing it. Um, it's probably gonna be like a like a month with with how things are looking until everything's set up. But uh, you know, we're rushing, but we don't want to, you know, get you guys tracked down or whatever. That works for us, Hex says, <laughs> and I guess, <laughs> does she have anything else to say? Jenny is a guy. Generator. Oh, yeah. does Jenny... oh duh, yes. <laughs> of you course. can't forget, Generator, Generator E. e. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stupid. <laughs> uh, no, that's it. Uh, I'm going to like send you a gift basket for like uh, hooking me up with this cool job uh, and all, you know. You, you don't have to, Hex says, and hangs up. <laughs> <laughs> He's cold. Wow. So fucking cold. What a bitch. Cold. Hex mutters always hated her. Or er, <laughs> hated him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Poor Jenny. God, poor fucking Jenny. So, you're, you now are situated where you can build a new base or start building a new base. It'll be built in a month. Um, I already gave you all homework to discuss this, but for the viewers... I will tell you what that homework was, which was to choose a location. And I outlined three. That would be the most realistic. Uh, the first being Caldera Lake, which is where you are now, which is far west of the city, past a big, giant, icy desert, uh, which is pretty affluent, but kind of outside the conflict zone. Um, the second was the River Valley, which is where most of your missions have happened. Um, largest part of this area of the planet. Uh, well situated to get to the city. Uh, and to get to operations. Uh, but there is like a risk of discovery by clusterists or peacekeepers if you are not careful. And then the third location was the Ice Desert, which is very self-explanatory. It is just on the west side of the city. It is a massive icy tundra um, where there's like basically nothing there. It is very difficult to navigate and it has no resources or amenities, but it is very well hidden and very safe. And for your upgrades, you're going to retain all of your existing squad hideout upgrades and you're going to be given the quarters upgrade for free because you're going to be forced to live in this new base um and you're going to get five other upgrades as well and i asked for each of you to choose four of, of any any cost so you'll have to figure out what you want to spend those on ultimately um and to finish it all off you will be bumped up to tier two for free because of your successful negotiation with bluth at the start of your last operation that I believe Hex did. Oh, oh yes. Which is a Ooh, hell of a value. Deal. That's like a 16 supply value right there. <laughs> so let's look at what you guys wrote for your ideas and let's discuss what we're thinking Ooh. in general. Uh, I don't yeah. know if you... Do you guys think we should read it off first or just kind of go freeform? Um, I think off. that That's maybe... Fun. Yeah, reading off the descriptions would be good, at least. But sure. I guess you kind of have to have the rest of it to... Let's just do general vibes. 
Yeah. Like, like for my example one that I put down, it was an, ab- an abandoned ranch in the River Valley uh, that had some sort of dust storm generator to hide it. Log line. Nice and easy. Uh, Adam, what did you what, mm-hmm. what did you think of? Clever, clever guy. <laughs> I like the ice desert region. And when I was thinking of the ice desert region, I immediately thought of the film The Thing. And I was thinking about that research about uh, the research outpost that is featured in there. And I really liked the idea of it is hidden because it is literally just a bunch of like little squares in just white snow. And it looks almost like rocks. It's like no one else would ever find this fucking thing. So that's that's how in my brain I imagine it as hidden. But then I also wanted the tunnels upgrade. And then when I was thinking of tunnels, I also was thinking of Hoth from Star Wars. So like, oh, yeah, I imagine (laughs) that there's just like these, you know, like little structures on top but then underneath there's like whole cave system you know that we actually go through kind of just like in empire and uh that's also how i like the idea of instead of our frames being stored (laughs) vertically if they're just (laughs) flat and like we don't have a lot of room to work on them but when they need to deploy (laughs) they're going to rise up from the ground like zombies (laughs) shoot out i like that That imagery that's good yeah That, that is my that's my brain thought hell yeah thank you uh, Ewan. Mine is also Ice Desert. Ice Desert game, Gang Rise Up. Mine, yeah, mine was basically also an ice cave based on what Adam just said, but just you get through it through a cliff. So from the air, you just can't see anything at all. And the ice cave is large. And we just put all our shit in there. And it's very well hidden. The wrote frigid but kitted out, and then a good place for the squad to meditate on their sins. Wow. <laughs> Lord Pointed. knows we need that. <laughs> uh, Brian. We ain't meditating shit here. Uh, <laughs> this is Brian reporting in live from the River Valley. Uh, so, you know, Hex is thinking better if we're closer to the enemy. Uh, in terms of location, he was thinking an abandoned hydroelectric dam substation. So, you know, getting closer to the dam, very plot relevant location. <laughs> but, uh, you know, with the thinking that who'd be stupid enough to put a base there, you know, <laughs> after everything that's happened. So what better place than an inconspicuous substation? Uh, yeah, in terms of description, uh, I was thinking there'd be a big cavernous area beneath where the frames could be stored and brought up via some sort of lift eh, that's obscured. So folks don't immediately know we're there. Yeah, it's worth noting, literally everyone chose the hidden FOB option. <laughs> yeah, we want to be hiding. All right. mm-hmm. yeah. You do not want to get discovered. With... Don't deal <laughs> with the what are we doing this for, if not? <laughs> um, yes, if you hadn't chosen that, Right when it starts, <laughs> we just got top of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, guys, we know where the base is. You didn't even try to hide it. Like, what? <laughs> we supposed to be doing something? Oh yeah, hiding. Put spotlights on the top and turrets. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> um, Zach. Yeah. So mine, I immediately, actually, probably like at the outset of hidden secret black ops base. I thought like, okay, I want to be able to fly out of a hidden cave entrance. And so my idea is firstly Caldera Lake. I just think it's a, a cool location. You got all that water nearby, but it's still a little bit remote from the conflict. Um, and I picked just a couple upgrades that I thought sounded neat. So I went with factory and workshop and I've kind of like reverse engineered this. So like I picked the stuff that I thought was cool. And then I was like, okay, well then what could it be? And the idea that I came up with is a secret uh, corporate prototyping facility so it's just like you know it's got like basic manufacturing and maybe like little like assembly lines and automated type stuff for like prototyping machines and stuff back from before the corporations united into a council I don't even I kind of just made that up um, but like you know if they were like spying on each other and stuff they might have wanted a secret place to like prototype new equipment and ideas and stuff and then obviously when they became a council it didn't, didn't it wasn't necessary anymore so it shut down and so it's basically just like a completely subterranean like factory workshop kind of area and um i picked the airfield upgrade with the idea that uh, maybe the the base is like up on a, a sheer cliff face out over the lake um and there's actually like a huge hole or maybe that's at least like a hangar door that opens and closes that you can fly aircraft through but it's got like a hologram projector so it just looks like a sheer cliff face uh, to anyone who would try to scan it 
Hell yeah. So that is all of them. Um, I don't really know how to resolve this. I guess we'll have to work like as a group. Um, uh, or you will have to work as a group. I'm going to stay out of this. I'm happy as long as it's a cave. We have three cave ideas. So I think we're cave aligned generally within the group. <laughs> Except for the dam. We all know how Hex feels about dams. <laughs> I, I, will, I know I said I was down out of it, but this is me not staying out of it. Um, <laughs> I, I do really think it is both very funny. It, well, not just, this is very funny. The <laughs> Hex wants to make his base <laughs> in the scene of <laughs> his war crimes. <laughs> it feels like it's in poor taste a little bit. Uh, it's like serial but, killer shit. <laughs> but like it's also, scene of crime. But it's, I get the logic. It's like, who, would they, who would be stupid enough to make their base in their most high profile crime they ever committed? Um, exactly. It's uh, personal. Dust so, I, so I, you know. I'm not, I'm not casting a vote for that. I just wanted to comment on it because I liked it a lot. <laughs> Y'all sleeping on the dam. It puts us in a great position to go, you know, do things. I'm I'm just saying. It's a great idea. I I do like Hoth, though. Yeah, I'm Hoth kind cool. of warming, if you'll pardon the pun, on the <laughs> desert idea. Um, I notice I'm the only one who wanted to be at the gentrified country club lake area that's fine um i think i think honestly probably the best way to do this is just to reach some kind of compromise of our ideas unless colin you really want us to just pick one of these and do the whole thing how would our characters do this in the role yeah play, how, in the fiction why don't you and thank you you're so uh, welcome my friend let's get out of the the meta space and let's all have characters around a table arguing and throwing bottles at each other <laughs> well, okay. See, so the the only issue with that though is that then we're like talking about real concepts. Like, if That's we have these true. four places, we can't just be like, okay, well, what if we take the factory from my idea and we put it in the, <laughs> you know, the, the ice desert cave? What about my stealth rolls? <laughs> <laughs> no one's thinking about my stealth rolls. We're never gonna have to roll stealth on site. <laughs> actually, you probably eventually will. Um, I don't know. Somebody can we compromise on the ice desert? That's not even really compromising. That's just going with majority rules. I'm we are a democratic it. faction. I vote yes overall. I, I like yes. ice desert. Okay. Cool. Uh, for structures, it seems like we need to discuss structures. So in the ice desert, there's not a lot there. So basically, the the things that you and Adam listed of abandoned research outpost. Or ice cave. It's all probably going to be in that general vibe. Yeah, yeah, um, totally. Unless you guys can think of something else, which I'm, I'm open to. I fucking love ice caves, just like as, as an aesthetic. I love, you know, like the shimmery light, like baby blue. Oh yeah, ice that's yeah. like translucent for a Maybe few feet and fossils in the walls. Ooh. Yeah. That'd be cool. There's an entire frozen Plesiosaur. <laughs> a space Plesiosaur. I did imagine these as like the hangers on Hoth, where like you know, the base on Hoth is not like, you know, a giant structure. It's almost like built into ice yeah. dunes, you know, mm -hmm. with like little yeah, holes yeah. that you go into. Like even in my brain, the tunnels idea was just like, we wouldn't even make, it, it's just like how they throw down like metal sheets and run a wire through like <laughs> just an ice hole. And that's yeah. the yeah, tunnel. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of. That, that's yeah, how yeah. I saw it in my brain. We gotta have tunnels. I agree. I like tunnels. That's a me thing. But it seems so weird. We need to destroy, uh, we need to do these four upgrades, right? And technically, yeah, this one thing. of them we all agree on is hidden FOB. So it's technically three, right? So yeah. you don't, I made you choose four upgrades just because I felt like a good number. You don't get four upgrades straight up. You get five upgrade points, if that makes sense. I think all of these, that every single thing that we picked is a one pointer, oh, isn't it? that makes it easy. Mm -hmm. There's Pretty not, sure. oh, you know what? No, the, hold on. Yeah, no, so a lot of the ones that are two squares on, like, the squad upgrade sheet have two separate levels you can take. Oh, so, sick. like, mm. for example, if you, if you take one level of airfield, you get one supply point. If you take two levels of, levels of airfield, you get two. I think motor pool's the same way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, all, all of these are tiered. So we actually can all buy all of them. I mean, I think that's why... Um, you know, for example, everybody who did airfield put like the little one in parentheses because it's just the one level. Um, but if we can get five 
points. That actually is uh, is pretty. That that's cool. That's very useful because it gives us a little more flexibility, and we can maybe take a second level in something. Yeah. So it looks like I guess we should read out what these do when we we select them. Yes. Um, it looks like you. We can just go ahead and mark hidden hidden FOB because you all chose it. Yes. Yeah. Um, and what that does is makes it harder for people to find you. Your your firebase is hidden. Uh, and I guess in this case, because it is in the ice desert and it is underground, which is basically double hidden. Um, yeah. If I ever make someone discover your base, you were either very negligent or I've been a bad person and you need to hit me. <laughs> I'm on it. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> um, I, what else? What else are we thinking? Yeah, should we talk about, like, why we chose things, or what do you think? Or should we just go through, like, what we think would work here? I guess we let's go through some shared things. Um, yeah, yeah. So, Workshop. Secure FOB? Or Workshop, uh, yeah. Yeah, Workshop was selected multiple times, which allows... Someone tell me what you, it does. It allows you to repair your frames at all. <laughs> if you don't have a Workshop, you... Um, well, okay, so here's the thing. We already have a um, a repair bay, which is a mech cav specific thing. So the repair bay counts as a workshop, but if you don't have a workshop or a repair bay, I think you have to pay two stress every time you repair your frame. Um, it doesn't say that in the description, but I read it in the, um, in the downtime activities thing. So you um, are so going to get to keep your repair bay. Yes, I didn't realize that when I wrote mine, but oh. the cool thing is that if you already have a workshop, then a repair gate bay gives you one dice to long-term projects involving vehicles, vehicle gear, salvage, and repair. So if we take a workshop, then we're basically just getting plus one D to a whole bunch of project types and repairs. Um, and it's cool, and I think it's probably thematic as well. I think it's probably something we would want. So... The other things that are shared is Gorilla Hideout. Who wants to tell me what that does and their thoughts on it? I I mean, I can tell you what it does. Gorilla Hideout, it's plus one to engagement rolls for assault, I believe, uh, which is awesome. Um, I don't know how we can justify it. I don't really... It's one of those things that I think works really well or at least works passably in like the sort of default assumption for beam saber which is kind of very mercenary but it's a little bit weirder in something like this like how i think that even if we take it it should probably look like something else rather than us having like you know sleeper cells of fighter guys all over the place somehow. i think it's yeah. Yeah. fitting for the ice like, cave like we can strike the city because we're close to it and then just escape back into a blizzard that's basically guerrilla warfare yeah but what if you're not striking the city yeah. Then we're fucked. Um, so let's... I mean, mechanically, this is very good. Plus one to engagement roll is the bomb. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. Um, that's awesome. So we could call this whatever we want. Well, let's think about that, because I think we're going to end up choosing this um, yes. because of how many there are voting for it already. Um, what if... This will probably actually color everything else we do. What if it's like a... Like an ICBM launch pad or something. Like, what if we can just launch <laughs> missiles? Is that too much? That's a little. That has. I that maybe has too much. Uh, too apps. much implication for other yeah. things other than just getting plus one. Yeah, because I could. There'd be a it's lot a of times idea. where it's like, where wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you just have launched the missile? Uh, yeah, we could just fire a bomb. Um, um, hey, that's a great question. I think it's on the right track. We could call it like. Fucking um, some sort of satellite that gives you artillery telemetry, maybe. Uh, I don't know. The hard part is picking something that we can't just say we're going to use in the middle of an operation as well, because it's really powerful. Um, I, I think it should be limited in some way for sure. What if it's just like something where you have a device that can like hypercharge your frames reactors um so that they are better on the outset of an operation um or something like that i can i can fuck with that i actually have kind of, like i have a boosted reactor item that kind of does a similar thing so it'll be just kind of like you know a, a, a you know a different application of the same tech 
Sure. I think that uh, works. Hyper booster. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> and I will check off workshop as well. If we're cool with that. Yeah. All right. That's I two know. out of five. Also, I chose the upgrades like as my character. That's why I like a lot of them are just stealth stuff. I don't know if we were not supposed to do that or not. But no, that, I think that, that I explains think way my, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually, because like stealth and then like prowl stuff. That's why specifically I was like, okay, these are all the things Joseph would choose. That's that's why I went into that. But I know like uh like helping on I think tunnels. Uh, what is tunnels? Does that assist on prowl rolls or something? Prowl rolls while you're in the base. Yeah, see that's that's why I'm like Joseph would love that, but I know that helps no one <laughs> besides <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> Uh, those two. I know secure FOB is something that we have two people talking about. Yeah, we got we do have two in secure. So secure FOB is like defenses, like turrets and stuff. I mean, if we're hidden, do we need it? Can we save a little bit that of cost there? That was my rationale, but also if somebody does find us and we're going to have to you know, get into the shit right here at home, it would be good to have. I think we could put it in a maybe for now. Um, cause we have five, we have, we can take five one point things as well. We don't need to take, you know, we, we can spend, I mean, I assume we can spend these up points however yeah. we want. Um, I think that, cause it, it could be really useful, but it also might not be. I think airfield is just a, as well, yeah, I think it's a no brainer because it's useful and also because like we have a ship and it would be good to have a place that we can be landing it. We could have, like, we could have our little ho- own little Hoth hanger. Sure. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. All right. I like it. Um, I picked Factory as mine. I don't... I think that that no longer fits thematically with this ice cave, so I'm going to probably say that we shouldn't bother. Is there anything else upgrade-wise that we haven't talked on? I think we've mentioned... I think... What does a commissary, commissary do? Commissary, yeah. Oh, I like that because it helps with sway, I want to say... Consort rolls on site. So if you bring okay, somebody yeah. so over, like a tunnels thing. The problem with that though is that you need to bring people to the super secret base in order to schmooze them here, and <laughs> that uh, it's a hex it's... choice. You know, <laughs> it's like hey. like tunnels is a Joseph. Well, just blindfold them and fly them in. Just mm-hmm. saying. How many points do we have left? Is it two. one or two? Actually, two? yeah. We've only taken three. We've taken airfield. We've taken hyper boosters. We've taken hidden FOB. Oh no, we've also taken workshop. So that's four. So we have one more left. I lied. What else do we have that people talked about? Oh, I think we've uh, talked about everything here. Um, like everything that we chose for upgrades. Well, yeah, yeah. So what do we have on the list that we have? We haven't taken uh, secure FOB. We got two votes for. I like that one. That was a me thing, but Brian, I don't know, likes that one anymore. I know, but no, you said you said you didn't want it because it was way for hidden, right? Well, I mean, you know, sometimes you know, we might not need it, but who knows what the end game looks like here? We might we might have to fight hidden. That's my down. thought: is we should at least have some sort of defense because we don't want to be caught with our pants down. Just in case, I know we're trying to hide, but like I would not put it out that somehow we fuck something up and then people do come and find us. And if that does happen, <laughs> I like the, the idea that we have. We'll choose. Yeah. Exactly. Like, for when that happens, we don't get inc- incredibly owned. We only get owned a little bit, because we at least have some turrets ready or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we get, we got tunnels, and we got secure FOB, and secure FOB got two votes, so maybe we should just, you know, get the get the turrets, get the guns. Sure. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Good point. A little insurance. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Never Couldn't hurts. hurt. Never Never hurts. hurts. Okay. Those Better ice okay. Sorry. They're hungry. Like insurance. You don't want yeah. it until you need it. Sounds cool. We've got a good vision of this highly secure ice base. Yeah. Um. Okay. Awesome. Let's move on. Is this still going to be like like tunnels? Like not tunnels upgrade, but like can there just yeah. be like tunnels? Oh, yeah. Like it just because yeah. we don't ice. have tunnels doesn't mean there aren't tunnels. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yay! Tunnels. You can, we have non mechanically relevant tunnels. Around. Thank God. I want to crawl on the ceiling. <laughs> There's <laughs> tunnels. tunnels, but only for Joseph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't See, go in Joseph's tunnels. tunnels. <laughs> yeah. I, have no Joseph. more I need to make my own vents. Joseph. Joseph just vented. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, so, uh, with that in mind, uh, these upgrades that you just got will not apply to this downtime. You're not going to get anything. So. Wow. Uh, yeah, wow. sorry. 
Um, so we don't. Ooh, my airfield. We, we don't have to talk about this. Well, we don't have to talk about it now, but just to get you all thinking, we didn't decide on your exact approach with the frames, but it sounds like from what we've kind of discussed both on and off mic that you want to refurbish them to make them less visible, not like get brand new ones. Yes. Uh, which means mm -hmm. everyone should do that, except for Hex, you don't have to do it because you have a generic <laughs> frame. So if you, if you don't want to... You're fine. But if you want to, you can also do that too. It's totally up to you. Metagamer. Um, mm. at, regardless of whether you refurbish or not, you can clear all the items on your frame and re redeclare them as you wish um, in, in a mission. Uh, okay. You don't have to describe anything now. Don't decide anything. Um, but on the next mission, in like a month of in-game time, you'll use your new frames. We will describe them. It'll be a cool reveal. Um, so think about... <laughs> Uh, what you would change to make it not as recognizable? I've got, I've got, a, I just got a really fucking cool idea. <clears throat> Hell yeah! I'll keep it inside. I'll bottle By the it way, up. A month. <laughs> keep it inside. <laughs> push it down. Um, <laughs> so for this downtime, you're going to get three actions, um, and since you are going to be here for a month uh, until your next mission, just while the military police stuff kind of dies down and your new base gets built, uh, I'm going to increase the effect of all your downtime actions, uh, depending if it's appropriate, due to this longer time period you're going to have. I, I don't even know what the fuck to do with myself. I have no <laughs> damage to repair. What about stress? <laughs> I assume we all have stress we got to get yes, out of here. Oh my god, I cut loose. Yeah. Still. All of us, yes. I think all of us do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. is at zero because he traumaed out, right? Yeah. You're uh, so yeah. chill. You we'll just wheel his own relaxing. on the stretcher. Lex doesn't even want to hang out. Yeah. Emotionally oh, and physically cold. <laughs> well, oh wait, we're not at the ice. We're not. Touch, so is this this downtime takes place like in the warehouse, right, or like in the warehouse area? Yeah, it's oh. a month of onions. Not to uh, me. I'm breathing water. I can't smell. It gets in go. the water too. It's nasty. No, it doesn't. Oh my god! It, it, it no. leaches through the exosuit. It's like oh. biomolecular onion. Oh, <laughs> that's really bad. That's awful. <laughs> You're sprouting. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to cut loose. I'm going to relax. I'm going to chill and hang Who with. It's a good question. Who wants to hang out? Is this Here's one of those my... things where beliefs help? Yes. Like how well, many points? Yes. How many points you have? Here's the thing. I feel like I almost don't want to hang out with Loyal because I don't want my belief clock to reset to one because it makes our assist actions worse. Mm -hmm. um, which I don't really like. Um, I don't think we could relax together anyways because Loyal would just be like, hey, put on the crown. Hey, put on the crown. Hey, put on the crown. Bro. <laughs> Bro, put on this crown, please. <laughs> you can always hang out with a robot. <laughs> yeah, you sure. Trust. You want to hang out? <laughs> yeah, I need to get some stress off. Cool, let's hang out. I have an idea for what it could be. Oh, love the hear What is that? Geist either finds or like just like gets a hold of like like a boat, like a motorboat. He just wants to go because like he's a he's a skilled pilot. He's super fucking good, and I imagine he'd be really good at driving a boat just to go fucking you know just whip around in a boat for a little while. It'd be fun. Sure. <laughs> I like that. You could go down to like some uh, tourist trap rental location. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm actually, I might have to send Gopher to rent the boat you, and drive it over. You have disguises. You still have your disguises. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot shit. the holograms. That's so that's still really stocked good news. in Zecker. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't like chosen a job or anything, but that's my name. What was my name? Franklin Bean? Anyways, yeah. I have it written down here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad somebody did. Just in um, case. Yeah, the guy goes and is like, you want to. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I can't stand the smell of onions. Let's go do something. I don't care what. Uh, uh, right behind you. I'm following. Cool, yeah. Oh. We're gonna go rent a boat, but like a fast one, like a speedboat. <laughs> do you wanna do you want let's get a scene. You are you're speeding on the relatively still waters of Caldera Lake. Just you and Joseph, wind in your hair. Or neither of you have hair, I don't think. So yeah. I got a, I got a little out in the I got some wisps. <laughs> wind in your wisps. <laughs> no wind, wind in my wisps. 
Joseph is holding on, terrified <laughs> as you <laughs> speed around. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like it's it's the start. Uh, guys, just like uh, you know, he guns it a little bit, mostly just going slow, and he's like, uh, "You ever even rode on a boat before?" Possibly, maybe before this. Oh yeah, probably nothing you remember, eh? Mm. Uh, it's fun, you know. I used to, I used to take him around sometimes myself. Let's uh, let's see. And he just fucking without warning pulls the throttle, like guns it all the way full <laughs> in the front of the boat, like it almost flips over because it he guns the engine so fast. We just take off, fucking. Joseph falls backward. He <laughs> <laughs> goes like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> When he just he's just hanging, he's having a good time. He's having actual fun a little bit. Just with yeah. your around this boat. Your son Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and when you're doing this, maybe as you're speeding around, Joseph is like putting his hand in the water and is having his fingers go through the water real fast, and he's just interested yeah. by that. He's just like, ooh, cool. <laughs> he's having a human moment. That's, That's nice. so cute. <laughs> okay. Uh see it. so if you're both doing it with each other, you're both cutting loose. Mm -hmm. Um, both of you, why don't you roll me the cut loose action? Okay, so two. So that's two days. Yeah, I have two. So it's yeah. 2d6? Yeah, and yep. you take the highest. R2d6. I got snake eyes. Ooh. Fuck off, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Joseph, oh wait, that's not good. Joseph <laughs> likes it. <laughs> if I get too much, uh, doesn't it fuck up or something? Oh, wait, did you go over? I got ten, didn't I? <laughs> no, no, you take the highest of the two dice, yeah. Oh, okay, six. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, hey, what a great time. <laughs> uh, Three, four, five, six. How do we, how do we frame this? <laughs> well, like, what? I feel like Joseph, you know, they're, Joseph's having a good time. Geist is, like, trying to have a good time, but he can't stop thinking about how much he'd rather be in the changeling. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe I, I, every time you, like, slow down, Joseph's like, Go faster. Keep going. <laughs> Why don't you slow down? <laughs> again, again, circle, circle. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You, the chain, you, you really can connect to the changeling. It's just not the same with other vehicles anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Got that itch. Yeah. I gotta go fuck my mech. <laughs> yes, I'll sir. see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> don't open the door. Um, <laughs> okay. Excellent. Good work. And now you each increase your bond level by one and oh, ri fuck. write a new belief whenever you remember to do it. I should start doing that, yeah. Uh, uh, Geist is cool. How about that? <laughs> X and Loyal. Any idea on what you want to do? I wish I could cut loose with Hex because I have a great idea for a scene that I just came up with after Googling I mean, onion processing plant. Though. Yeah, right? like Hex could just tag so yeah. along. Yeah, you can still have a scene with him. He just won't also take oh, the okay. action. So yeah. you'll get an extra. You'll get one bond point with him. He won't get a bond point with you. Yeah, I think, I think that cold. since it's one sided. I think that since Geist and Joseph are out on their boat pleasure cruise, <laughs> and <laughs> Loyal and Hex are just left behind in this warehouse with their very large surgeon, and not much just going on. I would love to do. A scene in there um you find hex doing ad many things where is this occurring uh i guess wherever the frames are stored or just the the, the oniony part of the warehouse i know that's most parts of it so you, you you're can in take the some deep liberties. onion now oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can take some liberties he is not crying you know he's he's used to the onions at this point that works for me loyal is floating directly in front of the onion grating packing line which is a series of rails and shoots slides basically that determine the size of the onion and which machine it goes into to be sliced packed etc and he's lonely as fuck no one else is in here so he kind of sends a little psychic mind tendril over to hex because he is not feeling the energy to speak but wants to know how Hex is doing, kind of wants him to come over, doesn't want to seem desperate about it, but does this anyways. So Hex would feel just like as if Loyal was maybe like next to him, but then if he turns around, he's across the warehouse. Has Loyal done this to Hex before? No, never. Like, would Hex know what this is? I don't know. 
I mean, he's seen Loyal in action for a bit, but everyone reacts to psychic phenomena differently. Okay, so just so I'm getting this clear, it just feels like Loyal's there, but Loyal's not. Yeah, but if he turns around, he would see him further away than he thought he would be. So that would be a little startling. Okay, Hex turns around and sees that Loyal is further away than he intended on and looks visibly confused. <laughs> and kind of waves. Uh, <laughs> Loyal waves one of his exopart arms back at him. He's like, what are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? He kind of looks at the spot where he thought you were a little <laughs> pointedly. If I could smile placidly at you, I would. Anyways, um... That what? feeling is conveyed, and he's... <laughs> Hex is confused. <laughs> Excellent, I love it. Uh, Loyal says, hey, I have a question for you. Go over here. Was this in, in his head? <laughs> this is the actual voice. It's not doing any... Sure, shit with Hex your mind walks anymore. on over. <laughs> so are you yelling at him? Hey, I have a question for <laughs> I you. I have a question for you. <laughs> He walks on over, a, a little confused. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hex, have you ever engaged in the art of meditation? Not quite. Why do you ask? I think it may be beneficial to us in the current time, given everything happening. I know that Joseph and Geist are all are out soothing the mind in their own way. Perhaps we could do the same. I mean, I don't have anything better going on. Hex kind of shrugs. I mean, the new base is a month away. There's only so much that can be done around here. He just says, try sitting on this crate. And there's just like a upturned plastic crate that also faces the onion sorting facilities. Okay. Hex sits on the crate. And then I think Loyal just like doesn't say anything for a good... 30 seconds until he probably notices Hex fidgeting uncomfortably. He notices Hex checking his <laughs> phone equivalent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Real quickly. <Absolutely. laughs> Bro, is that Candy Crush? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm bored, okay? <laughs> when Loyal sees this, he says, What a marvelous machine this is, isn't it? He's, again, just looking at the onion sorter. Yeah. I mean, we'll see how well the onion or the salad market is over here on Terra Brea, but I mean, Blues can sure generate some output here. Loyal just seems like he's not really listening to what Hex is saying at all. And he's like, this machine built so lovingly for such a singular purpose to sort these onions into specific, into specific sizes and take them where they need to go all along these predetermined routes. So efficient. Do you ever wish that there was something in our lives that would be similar to take us where we need to go? That's a good question. I don't think I want to end up in a salad. <laughs> no, I suppose not. But maybe ending up in a salad is a use in its own right. I mean, yeah, we need salads. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... Roll your bonds, loyal. So how long is this meditation thing supposed to last? Are we done yet? <laughs> One month. <laughs> Jeez. Wanna play Fortnite? We're gonna become onion, like, fucking gurus by the end of this. I only have one belief. <laughs> I only have one bond with Hex, so that's just 1d6. Four. Four stress. It's enough for me. Nice. Not too bad. Could've been more, but also could've been way less. How much stress do you have? Uh... I am one away from traumaing out, or was, but now I'm a little bit safer. Five away. Well, yeah. Yay! Everyone has not taken an action. Hex, what do you want to do for your first downtime action? And we already did that big project, so let me see if I have any other clocks. Maybe train? Sir? Sure. Let's just do that. Where is that description? Training. So you just get one XP. Every time you take the train action, you get one XP for... Either in a tribute or playbook. Um, Let's do it for playbook. Close to you, a level up. If you train resolve, you're going to get 2 XP uh, as a train. Just because you have that upgrade. Wait, no. Yeah. You don't. 
have that. Don't here, we do. don't have any of our stuff, yeah. So yeah. I'll just gain one. What else do people want to do? Joseph, Hex? I mean, if you'll let Hex train one more time, that's a level up. Go for it. You can train as much as you want. Whee! All right. I'm going to pick an ability at some point. Hee <laughs> Maybe not bureaucrat. Maybe Hex, you know, his trauma changed him a little bit. I like shooting guns now. Especially little <laughs> kids. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Welcome oh my god. <laughs> I want, here's the thing. I want to start a new downtime, a long-term project. Something that'll up my drive clock because I need three more ticks um, in order to be able to kill Retribution. And I need... So firstly, I don't know what this should look like, and I especially don't know how the fuck I'm going to advance it while out here in a warehouse, so maybe I should just not do that this downtime. Oh, shit. I just remembered. Um, I told you that you'd get improved effect on everything. Uh, so, oh. Hex, gain two more XP for your two trainings. Oh, lit. Woo. Well... Um, and cool. then, for those of you who recovered stress, if it won't put you over, I think you can remove one more. Thank you, Basin G. Ooh, awesome. Um, now I have six. Uh, but <laughs> if you still want to cut loose, uh, yes, guys. I still have six stress left, so that's two out of my... <laughs> what <laughs> was formerly eight. Um, so Jesus. I actually am not even in any risk of trauma. Yeah, yeah, I was right there. I was one point away. Um... It was a stressful day. Play onion meditating. Uh, I was one point away too, but then after the simple workout of the onion meditation, I'm better. That's just no. beautiful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all onions on the let's floor. cut so, loose. Let's party. Guys is going stir crazy in the warehouse. What, he wants out. What do you want to do? What is this cut loose? Same thing? Different thing? I don't know. I mean, Loyal can't exact. I guess Loyal could ride on a boat, but that would be really stupid. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> I mean, no, no, you have to be in the exopod on the boat or it's not fun. I'm inclined to have this happen just because of how funny the visual is. <laughs> sure, sure. Geist is... He tried to cut loose. He's feeling frustrated. He, It's not the same as driving the changeling. He's pissed off. And um, he invites Loyal out this time because Joseph presumably has stuff to do. Loyal is pleasantly <laughs> surprised that he gets to ride on the boat too. <laughs> I mean, I think... How much does your exopod weigh? We should be with intolerance. Oh god, yeah. Like, how does the floating work? If I, if you take a sudden turn, do I just, like, go off the railing? <laughs> might... <laughs> what happens to your exopod when it goes in water? Like, I can't imagine it's very... Or no, it is awkward. It's, it, it is. It was designed to go under the water and... It just turns it? into a little mini-sub. And kind Europa! Of, yeah, around. Europa, that's the one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I imagine that like when it like the exopod settles down into the boat, like the whole thing sinks. Yeah, like, it's at least a thousand <laughs> pounds. I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah, just because it, my weight is in there, the water's weight is in there. I'm big, etc. Yeah. Um, the but it does have anti gravity. Mm -hmm. So as long as you don't so, take any sure. sudden turns, I won't go <laughs> overboard. Is loyal like telling guys that? Yeah, <laughs> or does guys not know? <laughs> instructing him on the concepts of physics and water and boats and delayed momentum <laughs> man guys still just you can guys is visibly like he's he's not upset but he's like he seems like he's having a rough time he's doing something that's supposed to be leisure activity but he looks pissed off <laughs> isn't that normal for him <laughs> <laughs> i mean i feel like normally it's hard to tell but he's got the angry eyebrows <laughs> yeah, on that's yeah, how you know true before guys rolls just to address the elephant in the room, are you going to talk about your situation? Your shared situation? I have a plan for this boat ride. <laughs> what I was going to say specifically about what happened on the last operation is the fact that Loyal just said it out of nowhere and then did weird psychic shit that like sucked all the stress right out of Geist's brain. <laughs> I imagine that he probably isn't even sure that it happened or that it's real, or maybe he doesn't even remember it because it was like in the middle of a very, or was at the beginning of a very intense operation where a whole bunch of shit happened. It was right before um, it started. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like he probably, like, is not even consciously aware that that specifically happened, that Loyal said that to him. Oh, so oblivious. So easy to cyclically manipulate. <laughs> How did Loyal become so evil? <laughs> <laughs> when he became haunted, and then somehow soft. Soft works into this some way. He thinks it's a mercy what he's doing to you. 
Well, I'm haunted. I'm also reckless. So we are having a rough ride in this boat right now. <laughs> Should have brought Hex. He would have drank in with you. <laughs> That's true. So yeah, what, what does Loyal do? What does Loyal's plan look like? Yeah, I want them to go out in the water and then like because they can't go really fast and Loyal could tell that Geist is still antsy and needs to go fast so his worries fall away behind him. He will go to the edge of the water and like put something from his exopod into the water, maybe like one of the the spokes, and he starts to sing this little fish attractor song in the hopes that some like pretty little fish will rise up from the depths and be entertaining to look at. No, that's cool. Do I still... for that, or can there just be fish? You can just have fish. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, uh, guys. I think I'll just let the let the motor wind down. It'll just blah, 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 blah. And the boat will just coast out for a little while, and we'll look at the look at the cool fish. I imagine that Terabrea has some pretty wacko fish. You did war crimes with them. That is mm-hmm. true. The cuttlefish show up now. and say thanks for the, doing the terrorism. We our home is so much nicer now. I mean, you are in the same lake. They could show up if you wanted. Ooh, yeah. Let's fucking do it. Our friends. <laughs> Call out to them. Yeah. Geist might start freaking out a little bit, be like, oh, fucking shit. Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> Do not worry, Geist. They're friendly. Look. He just, like, shows him the, the, the tendrils from the cuttlefish, just kind of slowly curling around the spoke of his exopod and then going back into the water. And they're kind of just floating there, looking, looking at each other, being cute. And then Loyal says, it's not so bad when it's quiet, is it? I don't know. I feel like, you know, everything that's happened, everything that we've been through, every single piece of metal that's been bolted into my body is all, you know, keyed me up to be moving, doing shit, acting, and just standing still. It drives me fucking insane. Hmm. I suppose that means that moments like these are all the more precious. Yeah, I guess so. Geist, you have to wear the crown. What are you talking about? You have to take it away from Maze. Maze cannot be the one who wears it. Who the fuck is Maze? You're not making any sense. <laughs> they were in the, the prison room with her together, weren't they? I yeah, don't I think... think they were. But, like, Geist never learned the name. Yeah. You know that he came in or it was just me in there? I don't know that, that well, no, as I recall, Geist was in there, but I don't think Geist knows that is Maze. Oh, yeah. I guess, yeah, Loyal would say Maze is the one who is not a child. Not anymore. She was in the prisons. Is still in the prisons. I've been trying to get her off the planet. And if I don't do it soon, something very bad will happen. Why are you trying to get her off the planet? Because she's, she was a a child. She was the first child soldier that I encountered on this mission. Yeah, I remember. That's the one that Joseph broke both of her legs. Broke both of her legs, yeah. I thought if I could help one person that something would change in this world. Yeah, and how's that working out for you? The goal is still the same, more or less. So what are this crown? You're talking about that thing right from the from the warehouse. It seems there are only two things that will happen. It will be given to Maze, and given her history, given what I know I have seen in her heart and in her mind, it will not end well for us. I don't know what will happen if you take it, but it will be better than her, anything, anyone will be better than her. So just let me get this straight so that we're perfectly clear. You want me to become the sacrificial lamb for some fucked up thing that the Soul Union was keeping locked in a warehouse after we took it away from the Clusterus. The spirit of martyrdom, might I add, which probably means that I'll fucking die. Did that ever cross your mind? 
Yes. I think Vice just kind of looks at Loyal as if for the first time. Loyal just says, when every single one of us came to this planet, we knew what we were getting ourselves into, the kind of sacrifices we may be asked to make. This is one of the greatest ones, and I do not know what will happen to you. I don't know if you will still be there, but you might be. I just know that if it's you behind martyrdom, we might have more of a chance. You knew. I asked you if you had something for me. I could feel this thing working on me. I asked you if you had something for me, and you fucking lied to me right to my face. You feel some, like... You felt some psychic walls around Loyal before, but now suddenly they've grown little spikes. Um, he backs <laughs> up from you a little bit and retracts the um, the spokes of his exopod, so he's floating again, and says, there are many things each of us have to do when we are deployed in this way. I hope you will not take it personally. Huh. I think Geist uh, guns the boat so that it drives away while Loyal's hovering. <laughs> above it. <laughs> <laughs> so the railing breaks if this happens. Yeah. He just hits it and We're gonna lose just our deposit. <laughs> oh, that'd be, oh god. And he's just, he's just left back in the water with his little fish friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's Damn. it. I think that's, that's rolling bones. <laughs> <laughs> Let's that see what kind of catharsis <laughs> I get from this. That it was very relaxed. You're leaving. <laughs> you got a six. I'm at zero stress. I am calm as a placid <laughs> no. motherfucker. I'm he just needed to vent his anger. He's shooting off of a boat. <laughs> so, with that last tick, um, and your clock fills up, right? Yes. Oh, with, yeah, with it, does. Oil. it does. Um, I have a. That actually sucks. I have a belief that I didn't write in that I should have. Uh, you can if you can think of it on the spot. Sure. I'll come. Was it meta to come up with one about the situation that just happened? Is that too much? Because no, technically, I don't think so. okay, cool. We're on service of the story, and since you filled up that last clock, you get to ask Loyal a question about any of your beliefs, and Loyal must answer truthfully. That's kind of cool. Okay. Did Loyal actually consider Garrett to be his friend? Ooh. <laughs> yes. That's the fucked up thing. Cool. <laughs> right. With friends uh, like this, who needs enemies? Your connection <laughs> goes back down to zero, I believe. It um, goes back to one, I just checked. Okay, back to one. That is so fitting for being shot off the side of a boat. <laughs> it's all recontextualized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow, it's uh... Uh, okay. When it works, it works. The fiction. And it's we both take one insane. XP as well. I can oh. go anywhere. Not just me. We both we both get it. I level up. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee. Um, I think okay. I'm going to actually take telepathy proper <laughs> now. Yeah. And get the benefits from it. What does that do? So this whole time I've been able to just kind of talk to people and the fiction in their brains, but the actual ability allows you to take part in a group action and spend one stress per participant to let the others involved use the leader's action rating instead of their own. So you can get wow. better dice if I spend a stress on you. That's really good. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, next, downtime actions. I So Geist has one left. Yes. Hex has one left. Joseph and Loyal have two left, if I recall correctly. Uh, Joseph and Loyal, what do you want to do? I won't go gunning for any XP. <laughs> that I can promise you. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Why not? You could get so much XP with increased defense. I had a little uh oh, and we're not going to talk about it, right? <laughs> we're not well, going to get into it. Well, we're just going to go forward. Well, you know, Contrition have... was on your side, so. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, totally right. My God. You're so right. Uh, I could work on my long term project, find like minded AI enthusiasts. Sure. It's not a lot to do right now except go on. Fuck a Facebook. <laughs> would you be, yeah. or, or would you be cool if I try to rank up my playbook XP, not my skills? Yeah, sure. Okay, because I'm kind of close with my playbook XP, so maybe I should try that. Um, yeah, I'd like to do that. What do I got to do for that? 
You just get one. One playbook game. Yeah. You say you're oh. going to do it, and then it happens, and you get one. Okay. Congratulations. Well, uh, there usually we Usually you'd get two, but because you're... Uh, uh-oh, I'm going to give you one. That's fair. That's fair. I'll take that. What? Why would he get two? Oh, because of the, the thing. The lo- That's yeah, right. the, the long-term uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Loyal. I want to do my clocks, my maze clock somehow. Yes. So your your current two clocks that you have left are convince warden maze is not a threat and convince maze to leave planet. I think you kind of already. Which did one that. has the closest to completion right now? They're actually equally close to completion. I think I want to go back to convince warden maze is not a threat because I've kind of given up on maze at this point. Um. Okay, so we should discuss how are you getting there? How are you hiding yourself? Uh, are you doing it remotely instead? Uh, like that sort of stuff. <clears throat> what is a revealing interaction? Could you give me more context as to why you <laughs> want to know that? If I have had a revealing interaction with a guard, now that I have the actual mechanical benefits of telep- telepathy... I can communicate directly to his mind. I guess that's from any distance, right? It doesn't, really doesn't specify. say there is a limiter on this. Uh, also, there's other abilities that say regardless of distance, so I think that's just a psychic thing. Uh, sh- you know what? I'm interested to hear your pitch uh, as to how you're going to convince this warden via telepathy over many miles. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm interested. What, 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 are you, what are you doing? I'm waiting until I am most likely to encounter him while he's asleep. I hope that he's asleep when I do this. That's what I'll say. Okay. It's like, I don't know, 1, 2 a.m. I know that the military people have very strict sleeping hours. Sure. And then and what? I want to go into his dream <laughs> and Inception plant an idea of... Jesus. Man, we're really close to having to like deal with this maze prisoner situation. It's been a really long time, not got any information. Maybe I should just like look up in the cluster's files one more time, and I'm hoping that he will go look at the misinformation that I had Joseph plant earlier oh. about. <laughs> there's a there's a a fail safe in the cluster's psyche where they train the children to lose all their memories or go insane or something if they're captured. So he will maybe find this. And then go check on Maze and see that she is crazy with martyrdom and be like, ah, fuck, she's lost all the information. Better let her go. <laughs> okay. Um, give me a sway. Sure. <laughs> I <Wow>. certainly will. <laughs> this is going to be good. I don't think I'm going to give you the extra effect given how wild this is, <laughs> but you do have three dots in sway, so I don't think there'll be much of a problem. All right. Um, regular risky standard. Doing mm-hmm. it. Six. Hey! So you have three ticks <laughs> in that clock. Wow. Um, which is going to take you to one left on the convince warden that Maze is not a threat. Um, I'd cool. say you managed to do this amazingly. Um, <laughs> he, uh, I don't know how much you can tell if it works or not, but he, he awakes, uh, like, it's like that was a weird dream, and he like opens up his PDA and like goes in the files and like, holy shit, it's real! <laughs> um, and he's convinced that Maze is not useful anymore. Now that all it will really take to push him over the edge is to convince him that Maze is not a threat anymore. Um, but if you want to roll again to do that, you can. If you don't have anything else you want to do with your downtime actions, I don't. Okay, what's an extra thing I can do? Um. um you could I wait until the morning, him. and yeah, I, <laughs> I wait until the morning, and like when I think he might be awake and having his breakfast, I send another thought. It's like I should go look at Maze, and he has to okay. go in there and see the crazy scribblings that I'm reasonably certain she's doing right now. And that's supposed to convince him she's not a threat. <laughs> um, convince him that she is incapacitated by insanity. I don't know. <laughs> in that case let her go <laughs> <laughs> she said yeah i i can see that i can see that roll it again <laughs> i mean you're gonna succeed no matter what so 
Do you do it, but Let's fucking do it. That's yeah. another success. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Big ups. Um, dolphins are very psychically powerful. Dolphins are very psychically powerful. We've been saying this. Um, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> okay, so that that is complete. The warden walks in, sees Maze, has um I think she's like murmuring to herself, like rocking back and forth in a ball position. Um she's <laughs> drawn some things on the walls, uh, uh pictures of crowns and things. Um and uh he th- <laughs> talks to a guard, he's like, How long has this been going on? <laughs> and the guard does something non committal and he says, Maybe maybe she should be given to a different facility. <laughs> that, that, that's his that's his conclusion. Yeah. Um, that's what I was angling for. So there there is a there is an opening there. Um so all you really need to I guess um I'm gonna cha- you have right now you have a two out of six clock called Convince Maze to leave the planet. I'm just gonna change mm-hmm. this to get maze off the planet. Mm-hmm. Um, and things don't typically overflow in other clocks, but I will get, put you one here for you. So you'll be three so away. Half seas. Cool. Thanks. Uh, who wants to go next? We're going to consort with Wiley Coyote to strap her to a big rocket that says <laughs> Acme on the side and shoot her out in the space. This will work. We'll make it uh, I could do my last move. Uh, maybe I, sh- I, I feel like I should work on my long-term project. Sure. Find like-minded AI enthusiasts. What what must I roll for that? What must you roll for that? What, uh, what do you What do you that? think's appropriate? Interface, maybe um, it's on it's on the web. Yeah, that's what I figured. He'd be if anything. He's just like because he's away from everyone and stuck in the onion place. It's like, oh, I can reach out through the internet and try to find something. <laughs> Go to chat rooms, <laughs> ASL <laughs> guys. <laughs> Let me roll my interface. Do, 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 do. Five and one. Partial, partial success. Uh, so you're going to get two ticks in that. Does that go up for the greater effect or no? Yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, so, you add so another the two? Add an, uh, I, let me check. I think it goes up to f- three. So you get three. So leave four total. Okay. Um, okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, you continue to go on. I mean, what what's what's your angle this time? Um, I chat think rooms? he's probably, yeah, I, I assume chat rooms are probably trying to check, like, let me see if I can find, like, let me go to see if I can find, like, a local, like, on Terra Brea, like, mm. are there people around here who are, like, switching sides as, like, anything happened with emergent personalities, like, do some research. I found that fucking, uh, you know, emergent personality in that frame, like, does anyone else, is there, like, rumors about that? That's what I'm kind of looking into. Yeah, sure, I think you get... Um, it, there's a story, right, on, like, some one of these chat chat boards, um, mm-hmm. which, like, all the forum comments are saying, like, this is obviously bullshit. This is obviously bait. Um, yeah. and it's, like, a guy, I, I, I'm, I'm suddenly, with the modern era, I'm suddenly very interested <laughs> in imagining how soldiers are just saying shit, like, really sensitive shit on social media. <laughs> um... <laughs> And there's like a fucking clusterous gorilla, self self identifying, who's saying, <laughs> "I got really drunk one night, and I talked to this pilot who had never shown his face, and he said he was an emergent personality um, that had been sent there from off planet to help us." And I, I think he was fucking with me, but there was something about what he the way he said it uh, that made oh me like fucking really God. fucking uh, <laughs> confused. And then he died. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph upvotes this and closes the laptop. <laughs> um, Can't believe boy. Reddit's still That's around. Fucking awesome! Yeah, this is like <laughs> literally Geist uploading the schematics for the changeling to the War Thunder forums so that the devs will yeah. love it. <laughs> Joseph's just shaking his head like humans are so easy. Oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you definitely find um, that information. I think you find some people who are like. You know, maybe they're not so bad after all if they'll fight on our side. Yeah. Um, okay. Who else has actions? I think Hex has one. I think Geist has one. I have one left, oh. yeah. I think I know what I want to do, actually. I want to, because I filled up my last retribution-related long-term project. I want to start a long-term project. I want to consort with Ziggurat to basically just get her to start developing my anti-retribution countermeasures that she promised. 
after I <laughs> sold her my fucking spinal cord. Does that does that seem like something I can do from here? Uh, tell me how you're doing it. Tell me how you're covering your tracks. I mean, I was just gonna call her call her on the phone. Okay, I'll call her. I'll call her from a payphone. <laughs> uh, where is the payphone? Oh, I wasn't serious. I have to have come up with a better way to. I just we don't have access to our frames at all, do we? No, Are you they do. here? Oh, be there. Oh, we do. They're actually they're actually probably being worked on. So you okay, probably yeah, yeah. can't. Yeah. You know, would that? I don't know. I guess. How secure are cell phones? Like, I, I don't really have context for this information. I know in real life, not terribly, but, like, is the situation kind of the same here and that whoever maintains the telecom infrastructure could easily, like, just, like, spy on my messages? I just don't know how stupid of an idea it would be to call her. I'm not supposed to put positions on downtime actions. Um, teacher told me that I'm not supposed to do that anymore. But this is just <laughs> us on the playground, just you and me. I'm going to say that I'm going to put a controlled position on this downtime action since you are trying to communicate um, with someone in the city. And you're not a psychic, okay. so you can't just incept the, yeah. <laughs> this, unfortunately. <laughs> so sad. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, I'll, t I'll take it. I will take it. Um, that actually is... Uh, a very useful way that the game mechanics are contextualizing this for me, uh, which is super good. I'm going to... Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to roll, but I may spend one personnel to up the... If, to up it to a partial if I fail. So you will get a plus one tick on this clock as well. Cool. I'm out here consorting my little heart out. Let's see. Cool. Four. That's a partial success. I'll spend uh one. I'll spend one personnel to upgrade it to a full. Okay, and then you will get f four total. Then that is fucking bitch. And I assume I don't know what how many steps is it. Six is like the next one. So I assumed it was that. But so you are trying to develop the, the the countermeasure. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be like all done in this one project either. Okay. Um, really, what I need is a drive clock check. So what actually yes. happens is somewhat immaterial. <laughs> Uh, let me look at your sheet. You are three away. Um, so that's four. Let's call this a four step. I'll give you a tick, a full, uh, a drive clock tick. Oh, for this, fuck, son. Um, and I think how it turns out is that Ziggurat communicates with you. There's an area where retribution probably is, um, in the River Valley. Uh, the what needs to happen next is you need to basically. She sends you the schematics for a device which you need to hit him with to get telemetry information um, on, okay. on his location. Um, and then they can proceed from there to narrow the scope. Ooh, uh, I like it. I fucking love that. So next time you see Retribution, hit him once with this thing. Cool, 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 cool. That's fucking awesome. I love that. X? Training. <laughs> Amongst oh, the buff. onions. You get He's two reading. more ticks. So this whole, for 30 days in the Onion Warehouse, Hex is just fucking pumping iron. And yeah. Archibald is there, right? Staring Archibald at a picture of a, of a, a graph trending downward. <laughs> and he the looks pissed. doctor will help him. He looks The beefcake doctor doesn't work out. He doesn't know how, he doesn't know anything about it. He's gonna learn. The He's like the doctor, Onion Warehouse he, he shields his eyes when he looks at Hex <laughs> working out. No, I can't watch you do that. My eyes will become too muscular. Stop it, please. <laughs> he might steal some Go stand games. in the corner. <laughs> uh, Okay, who's left? I think that's everyone. Is that I think everyone? that's everyone. I, I think it might I be. used all mine. Yeah, I think that's everyone. We have one material and two supply left if anybody needs or wants to do anything else, but it would be not a bad idea to hold on to those for a rainy day. Um, the one oh, material yeah. we have is Joseph's super material, so we don't want to spend that unless we have to. That's his little, <laughs> his little piggy bank with like a billion dollars in it. Oh, yeah. That's terrorism <laughs> bucks. Yeah, <laughs> I'll All just right. put one in each. It is now a month later. Your new doctor has done a passable job on Spud. He is still badly burned, and he now requires like this full body structural frame to really move around. But he's up oh, and about. Yes. Power um, suit. He's been running training drills obsessively with the Raptors and Sparrows, uh, turning the ragtag band into a formidable strike force. 
Um, Gopher has been hard at work helping refurbish your frames as uh, materials come in and is just now putting the finishing touches on them. When a very nice aircraft land, lands outside the salad warehouse, a sleek futuristic vessel, uh, not too dissimilar to what you took in the uh, refinery mission, a gravity lift spills out from its belly and down floats September Bluth, Ziggurat, Jenny, Agent Whitecliff, and Nyla. Um, the whole gang. Nyla. The whole gang. Um, Bluth is dressed in his usual all-white outfit, though he seems a little more sprightly than usual. Uh, and he approaches you all and kind of strikes a pose almost, um, kind of <laughs> hands on hips, and says, Well, Dusklights, it's about time we discuss ending this war once and for all. And that's the end. Fuck yeah! <laughs> nice. Hell yeah.